My name is Myra and this is Joy of Colorful Cooking and I'm being joined today by another lover of cooking, Elisa. Today, we are gonna be making two things, an apple crisp, and then we're going to be doing something called build a salad. We're gonna each have two big bowls and we're having lots of things to build a salad with. Reminder, this is a show about nutritarian food eating and this is the food pyramid for nutritarian eating. I love to show it to people because I want people to see that there's a different kind of food pyramid than myplate.gov because myplate.gov has been influenced by food lobbyists and the food industry. And this food pyramid is totally geared towards putting the best things in your body to keep you in the best health. So here we go, apple crisp. Alisa? So this is, um, oh yeah, so this is maple syrup. This is cornstarch. Um, this is ginger, cinnamon, and cloves. Uh, more maple syrup. I'm sorry? Well, right now, we're gonna make the bottom part. This is the bottom part of the apple crisp, and later we're gonna make the top. So these ingredients are all gonna go in there right now and then be stirred up by this wonderful wooden spoon. And you get to do that if you want to. So you put these things in now. I told you, the spatula, the little spatulas are so good for all this stuff. I had fun cutting up the apples today and thinking about how, I mean, when you really pay attention to the food that you're cooking, each time it can be different because you can just think about where did this apple come from? And today, I was just, the skin just seemed so strange. Like, how did that skin grow? And the core of the apple, and I thought about these are organic, apples so they are have their own particular challenge because you can't put pesticide on them and I have a I have an organic garden so I really know what it's like right now to be dealing with not using pesticides and growing vegetables and fruits and getting to have the produce she's doing it to the very last drop because she wants to make sure all that maple syrup gets in there and also because <laughs> I want it to be extra sweet <laughs> she wants it to be sweet <laughs> So, and note there, there's a controversy about maple syrup as to its nutritional value, but we're gonna leave that right now. This is a forks over knives recipe. So, okay, so now I'm gonna stir this up really good. Yay. And when I was saying that about the apples, I try to think about the food and where it came from and all the things that happened in order for this food to be right here. I mean, it's quite amazing. They, ha they have to be planted, they have to be taken care of, watered, you have to deal with the weather. Then they're picked, then they're transported, people transport them. What's in this bowl right now has involved so many people and so many interactions. And I try to kind of think of that when, when I cook so that I'm remembering that what's right in front of me a lot went into this being here. So I had a good time with the apples today, so. We wanna make sure it's mixed really good so we don't see any white cornstarch. I'll, I'll flip these over here and at the end. That's the, that's the part one doesn't wanna bite into. These were green apples. Personally, it, the recipe calls for green apples, but you can certainly use different apples. This recipe will be, when, when you watch the show, it will be underneath. Oops, good eye. Another thing is, uh, of course I don't want to peel in there, but I also don't want to get upset about it. It's like, okay, all right, so now the next part is, we're gonna move this over for a second, and, put all these things into the bowl and mix them up. And this is? Oats and cinnamon. Yep. 
uh, this is cashew butter. It really doesn't matter what type of butter you use. Now I'm going to brush the um, cornstarch off of your face. <laughs> the joy of cooking is getting stuff all over you. <laughs> yeah, it can be interchanged. This is cashew butter, which it tastes really good with. But you could use peanut butter, you could use almond butter. All of these things are organic. So they haven't been used with pesticides. Unsweetened applesauce, because there's plenty of sweet stuff in here. That's more maple syrup for the top. And again, Tobo Ostrop. She's very happy about this part. Okay. And vanilla extract. Okay. Okay, now she's, Elisa's gonna mix this all up, and then With we're gonna the put it on the top. You, oh, you can okay. use this. This is also, this happens to be gluten-free and organic. Trader Joe's has gluten-free, but it's not organic. It does take a few minutes to mix it all together, but in the end, it turns out really good. So first of all, I'm happy that you're taking your time Cooking, obviously, if you're cooking as a business or a professional chef, you need to hop to it when you're moving. But cooking like this, you can relax, enjoy the process. It's a very soothing, wonderful thing for those of us who love to cook. I didn't grow, I grew up totally being terrified of cooking and not wanting to cook. And I was just lucky to have someone that brought me into the world of cooking because it's it's just been fantastic. Okay, so that looks all stirred up, and now we're gonna scoop it onto the top here. What I'm gonna do is I'll hold this, Elisa, and then you scoop it in, and then just spread it over the top the best you can. Now this one's, uh, the one thing about this recipe is you put it on 400 for 20 minutes, and then you switch it to 350 for the last half hour, so. You need to remember that or you'll get a kind of burnt, crispy apple crisp. That, and um, we were making apple crisp at my house before the sh this show and it, my dad forgot to uh, change it. So it turned out very burnt at first. I, <laughs> I didn't tried mean to talk about your dad, but okay, it's okay. That's what happened. That's what happens. That's part of cooking. You make a mistake. Try not to get too upset about it, and then you can tell the story, and it's funny. I hope Elisa's dad thinks it's funny. All right, now we're gonna put it in the oven. You wanna carry it over and put it in the oven? And we will be back soon with our salad section. It's called Build a Salad, and it's gonna be very colorful. Here we are. We are going to do something called Build a Salad. So, with a nutritarian way of eating, the idea is to eat one large salad a day. I want you to see, this is a, a large bowl. We each have one. So either one large bowl like this or two salads a day because the idea is to eat a large amount of vegetables and greens a day. So we have a wonderful choice here. First, I'm going to show you something before. Well, actually, Elisa will tell you all the different ingredients and then I'm gonna show you this wonderful chopping bowl, Holland Mills chopping bowl that I use to chop up a lot of my things. Number one, it's fun, and number two, it makes things smaller. So meanwhile, we have a choice of a lot of different things. What are they, Elisa? This is pomegranate seeds, or was it, yeah, pomegranate mm -hmm. seeds, cashews, almonds, um, this is iceberg lettuce. Go, go up and down here. Uh, colorful carrots, <laughs> artichoke hearts, uh, raspberries, Beans. Black beans. Black beans. Uh, hemp seeds. Um, a garden 
uh, tomatoes. From my so, garden. Yeah. yeah they're Today. tomatoes from my garden. They're very good. Uh, blueberries. Cashews again. <laughs> Uh, these are cherry tomatoes from Trader Joe's. Yeah, and these win with the contest. These are much more flavorful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, chickpeas, parsley, uh, not parsley. Yes. Yeah, parsley. Oh, yeah. Parsley and mint. Same thing from the garden today. Yes. Uh, almonds. These are... Several colors of, yeah. of peppers. Yeah, peppers. Uh, so these are avocados. Well, one avocado, um, some Kalamata olives, yep. which I love so much. These are, uh, this is tofu. It's baked tofu and it's cooked with um, low sodium soy sauce and 12 season salute spice from Trader Joe's. So baked tofu and last but not least, iceberg lettuce. That's like, that's Elisa's favorite, and then what I have here is this is mixed spring mix, and this is a bowl I got for my birthday. It's a Holland Mills bowl, and it's if you want your greens chopped smaller, which I often do, I kind of like them smaller. Number one, it's fun. It's satisfying. If you're angry, you can take it out in the chopping. And I use it for lots of things. I use it every day. It also needs to be rubbed with beeswax. For someone who loves to cook and loves to cook particularly with lots of vegetables, it's a blessing. Now, what we were going to do is we're going to put our bowls side by side. It's not a competition, but we're each going to choose the things that are favorite. And we're going to try to work so that we just ask each other for things because we don't want to be reaching across each other's face. So, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. And I'm going to already start by reaching across Lisa's because I'm going to use a lot of the spring mix. And and then I'll ask you to pass me some of that. Do you want any of this? It's okay? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so you can take the amount you want. Great. And then I will take some of this. And here we go, the fun part. Now, I think I'll take some parsley and mint. That's the parsley and mint. We'll mix it real fast. Multicolored carrots, cashews, pomegranates. We may end up using the same things. We probably like almost, Elisa doesn't particularly like artichoke hearts, but I love them. <laughs> I'm gonna use lots and lots of these. I'm gonna move them over because I don't need as many of those, even though I love them. Black beans. The other thing with nutritarian eating is Yum. beans every day, and that's certainly a main source of protein, as is the tofu. My garden tomatoes. These taste like sugar, honestly, these these tomatoes. I think I'm taking almost everything, actually. And one thing I realized I forgot to bring on the camera is I brought a, a flavored vinegar from Art Specialties in Maynard. They have a choice of so many different vinegars. And this is such a beautiful, multifaceted salad that, to me, it only needs, it only needs vinegar on it, a special vinegar. There's other... A lot of dressings that I do make, and I will br be bringing more of these on the show. But I think I almost have everything. How about you, Alyssa? Yeah. And then what I need, which I don't have, but we're going to sneak down here with our hands because my hands are covered with avocado. <laughs> so, oh, I don't think I put any blueberries in it. Do you want to put anything else in yours? Uh, yes, I think I'll put a bunch of peppers. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the peppers. And the beans. I don't think I forgot anything Could else. Could you please pass me the beans? Now see, I didn't work, to, I just threw things in, so I didn't make work to make this a decorated salad, but this easily lends itself to a salad where you could lay out the raspberries, lay out the blueberries, and have it be that kind of salad, a more put together. But this is a salad that's extremely inviting looking. Thank you. 
and you're mixing yours up, I'll mix mine up too. I like. I, th I think we pretty much have almost the same things except for the artichoke carts. I think I might. Yeah, add try try them. Hemp seeds are so good. They're pretty. They're. I don't know if nondescript is the word, but they're certainly very good for nutrition to have seeds and nuts in your salad. So, when people say salad is boring, it totally does not need to be. Look at what, what's going into the salad. It's amazing. I mean, you see salad bars at, at grocery stores and things. So, this is exactly that. The one difference is, is that this is all organic, which is good. And also that we're adding a lot more stuff than usual salad bars. <laughs> so let's see, you can see our two different salads here. They look, they're pretty similar. We, turns out we have a lot of similar tastes. We did go over this ahead of time. I wanted to see all the different vegetables and things that um, Elisa liked. Oh, uh, last but not least is the avocado. And when she finishes taking it, I'll take the rest. So you can take as much as you want and loose, and then I'll put some more on top. And I can't, I think I use the baked tofu. I make this, um, yeah. try not to eat so, so much of it because I was eating too much baked tofu, but um, I love it. It's chewy, and I also, I also put it in my soups, which I make, I make soups and have soups almost every single day. So, well, mine's done. So, that's it for now. We're going to be back when we pull out the apple crisp and you'll be able to see everything all together. Here is the cooked apple crisp. We're very lucky because we get to smell it and it's delicious. It looks sort of like a volcanic crust. So mm -hmm. we're going to scoop it out so you can see. Delicious. Ah. And so far, it looks like everybody that's here in the studio is willing to sample some, which is a happy thing. We made the beautiful salads. We made this apple crisp today. And I do have a new website that I just finished. So I will put that information underneath the show. Please check it out. Let me know what you think. I'm happy with it. And I hope you try these things. If you try any of them, let me know. One person already said, Elisa's mom, actually, she was surprised at all the different things we put in a salad. So one can be much more creative about salads there is no excuse to have a boring salad. Have a great time experimenting and tasting. Take care.